All right, let's take a quick look here at MongoDB, which is an open source document database which stores JSON-like documents, and the primary data structure for MongoDB is called a BSON. So a binary JSON is a subset of JSON, so its data structure is very similar to JSON, but it's designed to be both efficient and storage uh, in both storage space and scan speed compared to JSON. And BSON has more data types than JSON. It has date times, byte arrays, regular expressions, MD5 binary data, JavaScript code. JSON is just strings, integers, and arrays. It's very, very simple. Uh, but because it has all these new other data types and it's stored in this binary format, it's not plain text. It's actually binary data. And that's the reason why it, the storage space and the scan speed is so fast. Now, if you were to use JavaScript to perform an operation, like say insert data, this is what it would look like. Uh, so you have kind of an idea that you're inserting items into a collection there, okay? Uh, just to list out some features of MongoDB, um, it supports searches against fields, range queries, regular expressions. It supports primary and secondary indexes. It's highly available. Uh, it's, it's high availability can be obtained via rep, uh, replica sets. So replica to offload reads or access standby in case of failover. MongoDB scales horizontally using sharding. MongoDB can run multiple servers via load balancing. MongoDB can be used as a file system, which is called GridFS, with, uh, with load balancing and data replication features over multiple machines uh, for storing files. MongoDB provides three ways to perform aggregation, uh, grouping data, and aggregation is just grouping data to return a query. So aggregation pipeline, map reduce, single purpose aggregation. MongoDB supports fixed collections called capped collections. MongoDB uh, claims to support multi-document asset transactions. So MongoDB, when it first came out, did do all this stuff. And people complained about it, like it being very hard to scale, but now it's a lot easier to use. So, you know, MongoDB is something that is uh, more, uh, a, a more popular option uh, nowadays than it was a few years ago. So there you go.